Hi everyone, my name is Mike. I'm from the Bitcoin Bay, Kitchener Waterloo. Today I'm going to get you up and running with a basic Ethereum smart contract application in less than four minutes. All you need is two terminals up and running to a fresh Ubuntu Server 18.04 install and this GitHub repo listed below. The first thing we're going to do is install some system requirements for Ubuntu Server. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, it's all laid out in detail in my GitHub repo. This demo is going to be all copy and paste from my documentation. While you're waiting for this to install, get ready for the next step by copying the next command. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're waiting for these requirements to install. The next three commands we're going to be running are going to involve downloading and installing the Solidity compiler. This compiler helps turn our smart contract into something that is callable and executable on an Ethereum-based blockchain. We're unzipping what we just downloaded and moving those files to Ubuntu's binary directory. After this, we're going to be removing the zip file we just downloaded, just to clean up after ourselves. Now it's time to install Ganache, which will serve as a local test Ethereum blockchain for us, just to play around with. If you like what you're seeing so far, check us out on meetup.com or follow us on Twitter. When Ganache is finished installing, we can finally clone this tutorial's repo. We're now going to go into the directory we just cloned and install the Python requirements using a pip command. Pip's going to cycle through the requirements.txt file and install all of the required libraries to run this web app. In the second terminal window, fire up the Ganache blockchain while we're waiting. Did you know that the Bitcoin Bay has multiple online communities on messaging services like Telegram and Signal? While the install of the Python requirements finishes up, we're going to copy these three lines to set some environment variables to run the Flask web server. When we run the application, we can see some action below in the Ganache window. That's because this demo automatically deploys the smart contract to Ganache and you don't have to do it manually. We can now go over to our browser and navigate to the IP address of the Ubuntu server on port 5000. If you're doing this on your local desktop or laptop, you'd be typing in localhost instead of the IP address. This is what the web app will look like. And you can see that we've pulled the smart contract address into the UI from Ganache. Let's click the link and interact with the contract. In this example, we're writing just a simple string to the contract, and we're going to be using one of the test Ethereum addresses provided when we started Ganache to pay for the transaction and gas usage. Select an address and type in what you'd like, hit the button to submit it to the contract, and now you can see that the string has been written to the contract and we're able to pull information about that transaction into the web application. There you have it, folks. You're up and running with an Ethereum web application in less than four minutes.